Hi friends, today I will discuss a very interesting topic. Uh, what if you have Jupiter Ketu combination or Saturn Ketu or Moon Ketu? Uh, actually these three planets, uh, either Jupiter or Moon or Saturn, uh, especially I have seen when they are in connection with Ketu, then a person you know uh, definitely has certain characteristics which I will discuss today. Now uh, friends, uh, such a person, if you have all the three combinations, Jupiter Ketu, Saturn Ketu and Moon Ketu, then definitely you are a highly Ketu driven person. Okay. So, or even if you have any one of these conjunctions or two of these conjunctions. Now, what do you mean by conjunction? In Bhrigunandi Nari, we look at conjunction in different ways. Uh, even when there is aspect between Jupiter and Ketu, the trinal aspect is considered to be very auspicious and strong, the 5-9 aspect. Okay. If Jupiter is retrograde, then it can cast 12th aspect on Ketu and Ketu is always retrograde. So it can also cast 12th aspect on Jupiter. However, the 5-9 aspect is considered to be very powerful. All right. If Jupiter and Ketu together they are in the same house, uh, then also first I will talk about Jupiter and Ketu, then I will move on to the other two conjunctions as well. So if Jupiter and Ketu they are in the same house, in the same sign, then also it's considered to be conjunction. Now friends, uh, Jupiter Ketu person is such a person, uh, you know, Jupiter is knowledge, okay? And Ketu is actually purpose, yes, your sole purpose. So when you have Ketu, uh, you know, a strong Ketu in your birth chart, especially in the first house, or even if you have moon Ketu, a person may be initially confused in life because Ketu can confuse you a lot. Yes, it can lead to confusion in the initial stages uh, until you find your purpose in life. Once you find your goal, your purpose, then Ketu can also signify focus. You know, you, you'll be able to focus on uh, okay, your endeavors, on your goal and you will uh, work towards your purpose of life and you will be able to find your identity. So uh, Jupiter Ketu, I, I've seen that uh, when a person has Jupiter Ketu conjunction, then they have, a no they have knowledge with purpose, with good intentions. They want to impart their knowledge for the good of other people, for the good of humanity. They are also, they can be if Jupiter Ketu, they are in, they are in the chart and uh, you know, uh, if uh, Jupiter is not uh, afflicted in any way, like Jupiter's dispositor is also well placed in the chart, then uh, definitely uh, I would say, and Jupiter is anyway a benefic, natural benefic. So no matter wherever it sits, Jupiter, uh, you know, will always be, continue to be a benefic. So uh, Jupiter Ketu, if it is in your chart, I have seen generally that such people are humanitarians, okay? Uh, they believe in uh, working towards uh, the growth and development, their own growth and development, as well as for the growth and development of, uh, you know, the society of the people uh, with whom they interact, okay? So really, I mean, they are, uh, they eventually such people, they are knowledgeable and they use their knowledge uh, to uh, focus on their goal in life, and eventually they move towards, uh, you know, spiritual practices, they can turn towards spirituality, they can help others and they can be very good counsellors, okay. Jupiter, Ketu, both the planets, they can make you a very good counsellor and you can be a very good teacher, priest, counsellor. Now, if this is uh, together now, Jupiter, Ketu, then you can be an excellent counsellor. This co uh, conjunction is very important for being an astrologer for being a psychologist, uh, for being a guide, uh, even researcher and uh, yeah, for being a counsellor, for being into counselling. Now, uh, Jupiter Ketu people, no, uh, these people, uh, they will not, Jupiter is also the significator of the native in Bhrigunandi Nadi Jyotish. So such people, they will not, uh, you know, uh, their nature is such that they don't want to take the credit of things okay just as Rahu Rahu is uh, all about you know when you have a strong Rahu then uh, you can be a little self-centric because Rahu is all about I me myself you know 
I have done everything. So that is Rahu when you are focusing too much on yourself. So that happens with Jupiter Rahu people or with Rahu in one of the Dharma trine houses. Such people always want to take the credit, you know, of if, if anything good happens, they will always say that it is it was because of me. And wherever they go, Jupiter Rahu people, they will leave their presence. And whenever they are present somewhere, they will make sure that everybody pays attention to them. Okay. Whereas Jupiter Ketu people are starkly the opposite. They may be behind everything. Okay. But they will never want to boast of anything. They are very, very down to earth, very knowledgeable. They are truly wise and they are full of knowledge and wisdom. So they will never, you know, boast of what they have done and it's all because of them. No, that is not their nature. Even if they are behind everything, they will like to, uh, you know, pass on the credit to others. And they will never make their presence felt like, you know, they will not uh, compel anybody to look at them. They will never draw attention. They don't do that. Jupiter Rahu people may do that. Jupiter Ketu, no. Because Ketu is connected to absence. Ketu is connected to, uh, okay, well, you know, yeah. when Jupiter Ketu people, uh, they may be in even in the background. Okay, though uh, they may be responsible for all the good that have uh, that has happened, and they they are the real person behind everything, but they will always, you know, be there. Uh, somewhere they will, you know, they will not like to preach what they have done, and they will never boast of anything. So they will uh, kind of do whatever is needful, and they will disappear also because Ketu is absence. So they are there they are or not there they are such people their contribution is felt by everyone you know people who are close to them jupiter ketu if you have a very strong conjunction in your chart so um, people who are very close to you they will know your contribution that you are such a, a pure soul and you are behind everything you're such a great well-wisher so they know your contribution your family members know but you are always somewhere absent you're not present you know like that i mean you are there but you will never try to overpower others by your presence you will not do that and your absence will be truly felt always by those people who are close to you who are connected with you they will always feel your presence they feel your absence sorry so they will always feel your absence if you are like uh, you know not there suppose there is a family get together or anything people with whom you are really close so they will keep feeling your absence now jupiter ketu people generally you know they are humanitarians they are very honest people okay very honest they have great values they have get great respect for moral values also because Jupiter uh, refers to your moral principles, all right? And Ketu, Ketu believes actually in being traditional. So you can be very traditional. Ketu is also the planet uh, which is connected to uh, your daily routine because Ketu has a connection with the sixth house of your chart. So it is uh, Ketu believes in being methodical, in being disciplined, okay? And Ketu believes in practicing resistance and self-control ketu gives you self-control and uh, yeah so you will always you know uh, be of that sort i mean you will be you, your personality will be such that you will never uh, you know go on you will never want to assert yourself too much no so wonderful people they are actually jupiter ketu people they are so knowledgeable, so full of wisdom, okay? Because, and it is true, actually, if you have done something good, then you should not go out and boast of your achievements, actually. If you have really done something meaningful, people will recognize that and they will acknowledge that. So that's what, you know, 
you know jupiter ketu people they understand that very well because they are wise something which jupiter rahu people at least until the age of 42 they don't understand that you know they want the credit and you know it's very different with jupiter rahu but yes after the age of 42 gradually they may tend to you know they will gradually you know definitely rahu stops troubling and stops creating confusion to a great extent after the age of 42 but yes jupiter rahu can be a good combination for being into research that is true jupiter ketu by the way is also a very good combination for being into any sort of research research in medical profession research in psychology in any field you can be a very good astrologer you can be into occult sciences if you have jupiter ketu combination now let's move on to moon ketu if you have moon ketu conjunction conjunction combination the second aspect also by the way is very powerful in bhrigunandi nadi jyotish second aspect of any planet is also very powerful you have to remember that we look at the second aspect we look at the five nine aspects very important and if the planet is retrograde we look at the twelfth aspect definitely we look at uh, the conjunction if it is happening in the same house same sign also which is referred to as the first aspect now if you have moon ketu conjunction or combination then moon can also refer to your worldly desires and ketu is detachment okay so you could be detached from worldly desires this can happen when you have moon ketu conjunction you may love to be in isolation or your life circumstances may be such that you may be you may have to live in isolation this can happen if moon is well placed especially if it is aspected by jupiter then you will love your isolation and in your isolation you will love to do some spiritual or religious practices or you will focus on whatever creative thing you are doing or whatever is your work you'll focus on that okay you will do some practice some sadhana so or uh, whatever work you're doing it you'll do it with religious commitment so that will happen when moon is uh, you know well placed and if jupiter's aspect or aspect of benefits are there you will love your isolation and solitude you will never feel lonely you will not you will enjoy your solitude and you will make the best of it you know you will study something you'll do research and you will utilize your time in a very constructive way yes no doubt moon ketu is also a conjunction which can give you depression stress tension generally uh, in the initial part of your life say uh, at least until 30 35 of the you know until that age you can be uh, definitely you may be uh, you may feel isolated at times you may be in tension stress uh, some problems could be there with the mother you may be away from your mother away from your homeland away from home all these things can happen if you're within if you're at your own house then you may feel uh, you know restless and you may uh, you know you may find it stressful because a uh, moon and ketu they are uh, planets which are inimical to each other so it is not a very good combination for worldly pursuits in life for becoming very successful for material success it is a not it's not a very good combination unless you are using the energy of ketu like you're into astrology you're into meditation yoga you're into research or technology so somehow you are absorbing ketu's energy even psychology legal profession medical profession surgery these are all professions even chartered accountancy they are connected to ketu whatever is secretive whatever requires investigation that is connected to ketu okay otherwise you may experience difficulty in earning money okay in accumulating assets these things can happen you may also feel detached from these things eventually this can happen moon ketu combination can make a very good uh, you know uh, it's a it's a very good uh, combination for being a successful astrologer and as also for moving into spirituality and for doing spiritual practices moon ketu combination is a wonderful combination 
many saints sages astrologers have this conjunction all right now uh, friends uh, you have to remember uh, i would quickly want to draw your attention to the story of ketu uh, you we have in uh, one of the puranic texts in hindu mythology that uh, ketu you know rahu and ketu they are uh, none other than swarbhanu okay so swarbhanu was actually uh, shukra or shukracharya's assistant so just as shukracharya was the teacher of the demons or asuras swarbhanu was also uh, you know a teacher of the asuras or demons now what happened uh, you know there was a horrible war between the gods and demons once and uh, after you know the war was over it was decided that you know the gods uh, would uh, have the nectar so uh, what's that nectar now what happened uh, the the demons were uh, you know the the gods made the demons uh, help them in uh, churning the milk of the milk ocean okay so there was a milk ocean and the demons also had to cooperate with the gods in churning the uh, milk of that ocean and uh, uh, because uh, the gods defeated the demons so and as a result of the churning of the milk a nectar of immortality was produced and only the gods were supposed to have that nectar it was intended only for the gods not for the demons but what happened there was one demon very clever his name was swarbhanu swarbhanu who was shukracharya's assistant so he sat between sun and moon and he uh, disguised himself as a god and uh, you know and he was like he just had a sip of that nectar all right so when vishnu lord vishnu came to know of this then uh, lord vishnu separated you know kind of uh, you know uh, separated his head from his body so that's what lord vishnu did so the head is rahu and the body is ketu so ketu does not have a head all right so rahu that is why represents your hunger endless hunger because rahu has mouth okay it does it cannot digest anything but but it has endless hunger okay so that is rahu now ketu is the body all right ketu is the body so uh, ketu is in control of things that is why i mean nevertheless both rahu and ketu uh, they became immortal because they at least one sip was taken by swarbhanu so rahu ketu became immortal okay they became the uh, north and south nodes of the moon respectively the dragon's uh, head rahu and the dragon's tail ketu the dragon or serpent also they are referred to as in that way now uh, but ketu ketu uh, is a planet also which shows confusion because it is headless okay so until a certain age of your life until you find focus until you find your proper direction so for that you need the guidance of some teacher or guru okay if you are unable to decide what you should do in life then you need someone's guidance okay then once you find your focus in life then there is no looking back because ketu is the flag of victory also so if you really focus on your endeavors on your efforts and if you really know what is your goal what is your sole purpose then ketu can give you very good results even if you have moon ketu jupiter ketu or saturn ketu you will get wonderful results if you have ketu in one of the dharma trine houses in houses 1 5 or 9 also you will get wonderful results once you find the purpose of your life that's very important and that will enable you to find your identity because ketu 
pushes you towards self realization okay so uh, yeah so that was a story of ketu how ketu came into existence and so ketu is now the body without the head all right so and ketu you see is detached ketu is that is why ketu sh- it's detached from its own head so uh, that is why uh, the head is you know your head or your brain that is the seat of all uh, you know the thoughts even desires everything you know so when the head only is detached from the body then the rest of the body it does not have that power to think so much now so it is it shows detachment ketu so moon ketu you can feel that you are detached from worldly pleasures this can happen but uh, yeah if you are using the energy of ketu positively in your life if you are into research into any sort of mysterious or mystical or hidden form of knowledge any form of knowledge which is secretive like occult knowledge if you are into technology any sort of research anything which is connect any if you are into religious worship religious practices or spiritual practices then uh, ketu moon moon ketu conjunction also can give you very good results and you can also end up earning money from your practices from your work now n- nevertheless towards moon ketu people uh, towards l- uh, the later part of their life they move towards uh, some sort of uh, you know they, they move towards spirituality they have a great desire Uh, to attain self realization also now uh, what if you have saturn ketu saturn is your profession all right saturn is also your d- hard work determination focus and ketu causes confusion even detachment so saturn ketu people that is why initially in life uh, they are confused you know and there is an inner conflict in them saturn ketu people there is an inner conflict between their uh, okay uh, between their desire to focus on work uh, between their desire to follow their worldly pursuits and their desire to detach themselves from everything and uh, you know move towards uh, okay move towards isolation and you know just uh, move towards total detachment so this conflict is there that should i focus on my work when you have saturn ketu or should i uh, not give a lot of importance to my work should i uh, you know just be detached they f- they at times feel detached also from their own work this can happen when you have saturn ketu so they may feel that uh, why am i working ultimately i mean on the one hand saturn will make you focus on work Uh, it will give you determination and will make you hard working and will make you work with perseverance and patience on the other hand ketu no will make you restless it will make you feel that everything is so futile fragile so why should i work so much uh, you know ultimately uh, my the purpose of my soul is to attain liberation or self realization so why should i so they are caught in this inner conflict saturn ketu people but uh, again saturn is profession ketu is uh, a planet which also is connected to 8th house 9th house even 12th house so if you're using the energy of ketu in some way by if you if you're into religious practices spiritual practices if your work is connected to research if it is connected to psychology uh, if it is connected to medical profession especially surgery if it is connected to legal investigation if it is connected to uh, you know any sort of uh, even chartered accountancy if it is connected to occult knowledge any sort of knowledge which is secretive hidden occult knowledge if you want really want to do medita- meditation if you want to become a healer or a yoga expert then definitely saturn ketu combination is going to give you very good results okay but when you have saturn ketu combination then definitely some changes or breaks or challenges obstacles can also come in your professional life 
So Ketu wants you to transform. Actually, Ketu is the planet of transformation. It wants you to trans. It wants to transform you. Okay. So uh, when you have Saturn Ketu combination, Ketu is also repetitive work, regularity, routine. Okay. So Ketu wants you to be disciplined. Again, Saturn is also the planet of discipline. So when you have Saturn Ketu combination, you just have to be. No matter you, at times you may feel confused, you may feel detached, but you have to focus on your work. That is the best remedy. You have to like be methodical and you have to be, uh, you know, uh, disciplined in your work. You have to, you know, when you have Saturn Ketu, you must be willing to work on a regular basis. That is important. You should uh, set small targets for yourself small targets that today i will do this much okay then uh, after that you may take a break and then you decide that okay today i have worked i've done my bit again tomorrow i will work you know i will make some progress so making progress on a regular basis with discipline that is the key to success for those people who have saturn ketu combination you have to be disciplined in your day to day day to day work and day to day life you have to be routine bound okay that uh, this uh, amount of work i have to finish within this day within today then tomorrow i will finish another portion of my work like that so every day i will work so if you can do that no then saturn ketu will give you very good results you just have to be disciplined methodical systematic so when you have saturn ketu do this be systematic be methodical in your work and definitely you should be goal oriented so once you know your purpose in life then you will be able to focus also so ketu uh, can take you towards spirituality it is believed that after the age of 50 Uh, ketu will show its real color and when you really understand that yes what is self realization and i have to you know think of uh, you know what is my identity after all i have to connect with the divine so these things generally generally it happens after the age of 50 people start move so ketu if you have a benefic ketu you will feel that your life is incomplete without uh, you know your quest for the divine you will feel that i have to establish my identity and my real identity is that i'm part of you know the divine the eternal so i am uh, you know god is the almighty is everywhere and within me too so you you will have this desire to connect with the divine and move towards spirituality you will be in quest of your identity self realization so these things generally can happen from the age of 50 or after 50 this will happen if you have a benefic ketu it can happen even earlier in life also not necessary after 50 it can happen even earlier especially people who have a strong ketu in their chart a benefic ketu in such people definitely they uh, are in some sort of a spiritual journey and that spiritual journey starts quite early also in life it can it it can start even in their 30s uh, even before that also depends uh, on your circumstances and on the chart okay so yeah i mean uh, saturn ketu ketu is once you find your direction initially you can be confused also and saturn ketu people also they can change their profession so initially because you're confused you don't know what should be your profession okay so once you know that this is my goal in life that this is this is where i have to focus once you know this then you will saturn is your determination and focus and ketu also will enable you to focus even further and you will be victorious and you will be able to establish that f- your own flag of victory in whichever field you are actually so saturn ketu can make you even reach the top and it can make you very successful but the only condition is that you have to know what is your goal in life what is your life purpose that you have to know once you know that no one can stop you you will be unstoppable 
and you will come out victorious actually very successful so friends uh, so today I just wanted to tell you when you have Ketu you know a very strong presence of Ketu in your chart okay so you may have Ketu in your first house fifth house or ninth house which is one of the Dharma trine houses or you may have uh, Jupiter Ketu conjunction or Saturn Ketu conjunction or combination or Moon Ketu conjunction or combination so then you will see that definitely you are largely a Ketu driven person okay so Ketu is a planet which can initially cause confusion and loss of a sense of direction in life but eventually you just need to go deep within yourself and do some meditation seek the help of some guru or teacher and you need to realize the purpose the goal of your life once you have figured that out then saturn ketu jupiter ketu or moon ketu or if you are a ketu driven person you can get wonderful results in life and you can be very successful in your endeavors okay friends let me know how you found today's video uh, so yeah I mean in the comment box I'll be waiting for your comments and do uh, support this channel of yours do like share subscribe and if you want personal consultation you can text or whatsapp me details are there in the video description take care friends and yes if you really want Ketu to bless you planet Ketu or Lord Ketu to bless you then you should believe in charity you should believe in helping the poor the downtrodden the uh, unprivileged the physically or mentally challenged you should reach out to them help them help people out in orphanages old age homes or people around you who are helpless you need to help them out you need to be kind to animals birds creatures stay blessed thank you so much